I think during all the presentations, you'll see another valuable aspect of PFP that doesn't maybe always come to the fore. But being a principal is often a bit of a lonely job. And it's often so nice and enriching to sit with other principals and realize, oh, so you also have funding problems. <laughs> I thought it was me alone. And there's a lot of value in that, just sitting and chatting and listening to the issues the other guys have. You actually leave the cop feeling, you know, it's not as bad as I make it sound. We're all pulling through. We're all getting things done. And I think in all the slideshows you see this evening, you will notice, but yes, amidst all the negativity, there's all this positivity, which is always just amazing. So uh, I just wanted to point that out, if you haven't picked it up already. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to call on Pumeza and Hilton. They are our next presenting couple. <laughs> yes, yes, Pumeza. Yes, it says here Pumeza and Hilton. Yes, we're partners, aren't we? I thought it's the same as couples. <laughs> oh, okay. Couples therapy then. There we go. <laughs> Thanks. Michael is delightful. <laughs> Absolutely delightful. Krish, I'm going to just ask you, um, for everybody that's here, we've, we didn't put a long slide together. Our slide is just to give you context to what we are going to speak about. Because we are um, academics, we have to write down things. So we're first gonna, Gresh, if you could just put the first slide up. <coughs> so, um, just some introduction. Um, the school attracts learners from the communities of Retreat, Steenberg, Capricorn, Lavendale. We have a total um, number of learners of 980, that includes our grade R class. And I have a staff complement of 30. The school is a no-fee school. The next slide, um, Grish. So the vision and the mission of the school, what we were working towards, and the goal was improving staff morale through events and programs, and then supporting, in terms of Pumeza, the partnership for supporting me as a thinking partner. And then also we wanted to look towards supporting the families in the community because that is the context that I find myself and the context in which our partnership is seeded. That we wanted to bring some hope into the community. And then the intention was always with intent to forge strong partnerships with NGOs in the community and learner empowerment. And the pictures that are up there is extremely important. It, it adds value to what we've done over the partnership for, for 12 months. The first picture is the, in terms of learner empowerment to getting our learners to read. It still remains a challenge. And then in terms of staff morale, in terms of our staff wellness, and teacher appreciation because this year, 2017, is year of the teacher. And we aerated that conversation with having constant staff upliftments, constant staff wellness, the constant teacher appreciation days. And that's one of the picks. And something that's very close to my heart, and Pumeza spoke about it in 2016, it still remains important to give back dignity. And in the community that we serve, Dignity in ablution facilities, while it might be in my home or in your home, a very common thing that ablution facilities are of high standard. The school where I was, um, that dignity was not afforded our learners. And this is a project that was very close to me, that we could upgrade our toilet facilities. It was a mess. And if you, you can see the difference that our learners can use ablution facilities with dignity, in particular our, girl, our girls. The project at the top there was just, it was just the, the, the cherry on the top. Myself and Pomeza spoke about this, um, this initiative with Vodacom and Gift of the Givers and to connect with them and that, I'm going to chat a bit about that later, um, what, what it led to. So I'm very happy about that, Grish. So in terms of learners, um, we're always looking to improve literacy. Um, this year our learners uh, competed in literacy competitions held at the library and they did exceptionally well. The head girl won that competition. She is by nature an extremely bright learner, but she just did as well. And that the gentleman that's busy there is busy with the creation of learning hubs because the idea is to take learning out of the classroom 
and fill the school with murals. That that is busy there is a butterfly, and in that butterfly, his intention is to put um, the counting, you know, the one to ten, so the learners can really engage. So learning happens outside of the classroom, during uh, the intervals, and even after school. Thank you, Grish. Next one. And then in terms of parents and community, we, what did we do differently? Um, last year we had a fa this year, sorry, this year we had a family evening and I, I mentioned to Pomeza, the community where I am is the learners and the parents are from Lavendale. This year was a traumatic year for the community and they react in a traumatic manner. We arranged a family evening by it's a fundraising but to have all the families there and we had a karaoke and some jazz playing just to put the parents and the learners in a different environment that was extremely successful and our parents were involved in the kitchen and mingling with the teachers um, this this year also we continued something um, something that's very close is breast cancer awareness because two of my colleagues were touched with, with, that, with cancer. So we did the couple for cancer, but the nice thing uh, that comes from it was the connectedness in terms of staff, because schools is about people, and you need to connect to people. And then I'm very proud of the, the, the drill team, the marching band, it's, it's, it's a, a new initiative. So when the retreat MOU, when they launched a new wing, the learners were there to do their display. The thing that stands out for me also with this year is the Mandela Day. With Mandela Day, we could give every single child. And uh, it was a bucket of food, and Gavin knows what this means in our community. A bucket of food, 10 kilograms of food in total, which is just, it was absolutely super. That for me, of all the things that I've done, I told Pumeza that, that was, with our partnership, that was really the highlight of the partnership. Grish? And then in terms of environment, like I said, we did the toilet revamp and then also we did safety barriers. Because, you know, in terms of the, the law, negligence, and uh, we found that still to be still busy with that project to secure the entire stup Christian, and then I think that's the last slide, number five. These are the challenges. I'm, I, I didn't list them all. But these are still challenges that you, we need to work on the impact of violence on the psyche of learners and the knock-on effect of ill discipline and then learner absenteeism, and we still deal with vandalism. Thank you. What I want to do now, I've written a reflection with my, partners, with my partnership with Pumeza, and also the, the Partners for Possibility, and I'll read it as I've written it. The evening marks the culmination of a 12-month professional partnership between myself, Pumeza, and our learning facilitator, Ms. Nadia Mason. As I critically reflect upon the journey, one is able to reflect upon the structure of the mentorship program, the purposeful points of intervention via professional sessions, and the learning circles. I will therefore limit my reflections to these items. The business partner and principal thinking partnership has been a positive space in which I was able to give expression to things that really matter with respect to leading a learning organization. The ability to be in the presence of a neutral person in the case of Pumeza allowed me the opportunity to bounce off ideas which often can only be described as disruptive thinking in order to achieve organizational goals. I can unequivocally state that my business partner assisted me with clarifying the many thoughts that filled my mind so that I was able to make purposeful interventions to achieve organizational goals. I cite the introduction of the Staff Appreciation Days, which was introduced into the school as a means to build staff cohesion and engender a sense of wellness amongst all staff. The introduction of the Staff Appreciation Days had positive, unintended spin-offs for the school. Our official partnership project realized the handing over of 900 buckets of food to each learner Delta Prime as part of the Mandela Day celebration. With regards to the partnership and the continuation, it is with intent that I share in this space that our partnership may not end due to the formal contract being concluded, as it is our intention to continue in order to realize the vision and the mission of Delta Primary. Nadia Mason, our LPF, provided cohesion and a framework during our triads and learning circles. The creation of circles of principles sharing followed by a round of appreciation as principles afforded our group see 
17, the opportunity and space to speak about issues that are contextual and affect the quality of education at our schools. During the learning circles, I was afforded the opportunity to consult with peers and introduce quality interventions based on the collective experience seated in the room. Nadia served as an agitator for critical thinking and reflection, and at critical moments, the value of her presence was required in terms of directing the energy in the room. During the triads, she was able to elucidate thoughts and intentions so that it became clear in my mind where my team was and where I was required to meet them with respect to professional development. In this regard, as a group, we thank her for her invaluable and timeless intervention. The professional sessions and the skills acquired during these sessions continue to serve me well to this day. And I reflect on three in particular. The time to think session, inspired by the thinking and practice of Nancy Klein, continue to assist me to give special and delicious attention to all stakeholders. It however remains a work in progress. And regular reading of the principles have kept the teachings relevant for me to listen. Flawless consultants, consultancy added great value to my required set of competency and skills. The mindset that we deal and manage challenges and interactions from the point of being a consultant has to a large degree assisted me not to be despondent and negative, but to be calm and to consult more widely as to seek collective responsibility and action for challenges at our school. The understanding at an organizational level, and it is communicated that we have a collective part in organizational development, solving challenges within the realm of possibility. The community building session, which was the last session we attended, um, highlights that interacting with people, and I'll quote it directly, it's a messy business. I take away from the training that we need to meet people where they are emotionally and intellectually and that one can only intervene or, or begin the numerous conversations until a connection is established. The community building process based and the goal is finding systemic solutions and not to seek quick fixes. In conclusion, I want to thank PFP and my sponsor and all those connected to PFP for their commitment to me on this journey. The industry speaks about return on investment. I, the investment in organizational leaders, like principals, yields return year on year. I can only strongly recommend that PFP and our sponsors continue to invest in the future of our country. Investments in schools is an entry point to open the door to the realm of possibility. I thank you. I'm going to hand over to Pumeza. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, the, the Dalai Lama says everyone needs to be to feel to feel seen, heard, and appreciated. Hence, my when I partnered with Hilton and we started talking about the problems at the school, it seemed that although there are many problems that the employer needs to sort out, but the there were opportunities for Hilton as a direct line manager of everyone at the school to show um, some appreciation towards their work, their efforts, and everything that they're doing. And, and that, that's why that a lot of our time was spent on making the staff feel appreciated that their boss sees them and is appreciative of all their efforts. And, and this is a, such a profound moment for me today because I wasn't sure if I had anything to contribute when I was recruited to join PFP. And, and with time, I just grew into the role of being a business partner, mainly because also of the quality of the principal I was partnered with. When I went to Delta for my first meeting on, on the wall in Hilton's office, he had his strategy. Um, in point form <laughs> and so it was clear what the top five things needed to be done at Delta so even if um, so I mean we could carry on knowing exactly where what the vision was for the school so which made made it easy to support because it was clear what the direction was and also uh, when I spoken to friends about 
my PFP journey, I've you know, remarked on how very corporate Hilton is. <laughs> I've told my friends that actually he's in the wrong place at the school. He should be in a corporate. If you go to Delta Primary and, and you can test this, the guy who greets you at the gate, the security guard, he's like a guy who works at a five-star hotel. <laughs> when, he, yeah, when he greets you at the gate and he walks me, uh, he walks next to my car to show me where my parking, that is reserved for me. And he'll tell me, Mr. Palanyan, you told me that you're coming to and and it was those those little things that I thought although the I mean I have a PR and marketing background so immediately I think stories someone needs to tell the press about this the the principals I found all of them media shy they are all media shy they're doing great work there's so many stories that they could tell to balance the narrative that's out there because there's a lot of negative stories in South Africa about education but they are doing so much work and and they are not getting the credit partly because they are very media shy and and I, I thoroughly enjoyed the support you gave Nadia throughout I promise you, if we had to start again and I had to choose an LPF, I would choose you to be, yeah, <laughs> uh, LPF. And, and also I'd like to thank the rest of the CT17 team. We, it was such an interesting group and it, there was some nice positive energy and goal-oriented action. I mean, Hilton is right, he and I were very academically inclined, so we need strategies and goals, and, and so, so those things worked for us. And I just want to wish everyone um, of, of the CT17 group all the best for the future in your respective journeys. It was lovely working with you, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.